Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'd like to talk to you about how I color grade my images using Lightroom. As you probably know, um, Lightroom presets have become a big thing and this is not a video where I'm going to talk about it, but um, I just wanted to show you examples of how I color grade my images so you can kind of get a better idea and maybe learn how to do it yourself and so on. Before we get into it, please make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and check out my Instagram for the final images and much more. I post loads of photos from from my photo shoots and behind the scenes and so on so make sure to check it out okay so here i have a photo that i just imported to lightroom it has absolutely no adjustments um it's just as it was um, imported from the camera so there's a few things i always do first i always um, enable profile correction first because it gets rid of any vignetting and any lens distortion and then i move on to camera calibration and i go to camera standard usually um, as you see, it changes the colors and contrasts quite drastically from the Adobe profile. Um, I know Nikon cameras have different profiles, um, same with Sony. Um, I find Sony has more similar color profiles to Canon um, than the Nikon. But anyway, this is something that you'll have to kind of um, play with accordingly to your camera. So I either use this or camera neutral if I feel that the colors are too strong. But I don't personally mind the um, orange because I want this kind of really saturated look for this photo. So I have that. I'm not going to touch those colors here. I'm going to leave them as they are. And then I'm going to move on to the hue, saturation, luminance sliders. And I'm first going to change the sky and the water. I always like it to be a bit more turquoise. So I'm just going to move the slider a bit this way. I always find that it works really, really well when you contrast turquoise and this kind of magenta orange kind of skin tone. I think it looks really lovely. So I'm going quite extreme, minus 40, and then I'm going to go into the skin and maybe add a bit more redness onto it. So maybe minus 12, minus 14. Um, I know it looks quite strong now. I'm going to go into saturation next and lower the orange a tiny bit. So it's a bit more desaturated. Um, could even do that with the redness as well but um, it's mainly the orange so I have that and here you have your photo so we'll see a little before and after so this is before this is after so as you see the skin is quite much more red and um, the sky is much more turquoise same with the water and I think it just contrasts very well now I'm going to show you another image from this shoot, um, so I'm going to do the same thing, um, just the usual enable profile correction um, and then camera standard because it really brings out the colors and the shimmer or you know the, um, the gloss in the skin. And then I am going to go into the color correction again, I'm going to do the same thing, hue, and I'm going to surf with the skin this time. I want it to be quite much more red, maybe around 20. I'll see if there's anything else. I might make the background a bit more red. And then I might change the blue as well, because again, I kind of feel like the turquoise and the brown work really, really well together. So once I have that, because this photo is shot against the sun, um, it's not as um, strong and contrasty. As you see, I have a little lens flare. So I'm going to add a tiny bit of contrast into the image to make her skin even kind of deeper and darker. Because I think it looks really beautiful. I might brighten it or maybe not. Maybe even darker. No, I think I'll just leave it as it is, maybe plus five. And then I'll just see if there's any adjustments needed in the shadows. Maybe a tiny bit again to kind of deepen the colors. And then maybe just a tiny bit of highlight in the whites, just to kind of make the skin look even darker. Okay. And as you see again, kind of contrasting the white with the dark skin tone looks really, really nice and kind of makes the skin really, really pop. Okay, so, and that's it. I'll show you the little before and after. So as you say, see quite a drastic difference. So 
Um, as you see, I kind of apply as I go. There is no, you know, kind of one fixes all. Every photo is different and every photo needs a separate treatment. But I think um, just doing those kind of settings really, really helps your photos pop and kind of makes them much more interesting. And this, especially the skin tones, it just makes it look really, really beautiful. It works better on darker skin if the girl is very pale, it's not going to work as well. But it's definitely something worth considering. Okay hey guys, before I go, I'd like to give a big shout out to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. They are an awesome all-in-one platform to build your website on. They are super easy to use, their customer service is top-notch, so you're never going to get stuck with anything. They offer loads of beautiful templates that can be personalized to make your website just the way you want it. It's super affordable and it's just a really, really awesome platform to build your website on. So if you want to check it out, make sure to type in my link. It's squarespace.com slash Anita and you'll get 10% discount at the checkout. So make sure to check them out and I'm sure you're not going to be disappointed. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time.